I'm going to go back to my first collection for this one, which has to be read on this day of, well, International Women's Day and the theme of voice. The her is a very dear friend of the family and the you is her widower. Her voice. Eighteen months a widower, you, thinner than ever, step in from the hard November garden to that light, airy room, the linen covers with the orange blossom I remember her so proud of, faded now to almost white. You brew tea, find Kit Kats got in by your married son or daughter, and soon talk readily about her pain, her faith, your lack of it, life's cruelty, and how you never would have guessed till now, and how, among the memories you stumble over every day, you try and try, but still you can't recall her voice, her voice. It will come back, I say, in time, wondering why I can hear its shot silk timbre, a smoker's, though she wasn't, loud and clear, as if she were sitting next to you or me. And then I hear someone, Steve in his nurse's voice, or me or her, saying, you must look after yourself, and you, how you've never been interested in food or seen what people see in it, and then, matter-of-factly, coming to your own trouble, which we know something of, the too familiar chronicle of oversights, referrals and delays, raising your shirt to show us, halfway up, your own tumour, huge as a boxer's gloved fist in your back. And I hear nothing, rushing like the sea in a shell to my ear, but her voice, her voice, her voice. <laughs>